Today, I'll be teaching you how to make AI-generated talking avatars that look just like you. As you can see, this avatar that's talking to you right now looks just like me. This is my picture and this is her. The resemblance is stunning, right? Yes, my name is Jane and let's go straight to this tutorial. The beautiful thing about this particular avatar is that this avatar can be branded to carry, you know, the brand of your organization or the brand of your company or the brand of your YouTube channel or your social media page. As you can see, this avatar has on my name, Everyday Life with Jane, my YouTube channel name, Everyday Life with Jane. So for this tutorial, we'll be using different softwares and those ones that we have used in my previous videos. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Jane. And if you've not seen any of my previous videos concerning talking avatars, I'm going to link them in the description box. Please go and watch them. All right, guys. So the very first step is your avatar creation. I'm going to be using Microsoft Copilot to do this. I'm going to link it in the description box. So just click the link. You can see it's copilot.microsoft.com. And once you have clicked that link, it's going to bring you up to this page. And what you need to do is to sign in. If you do not have an account with Microsoft, create an account. If you do, just put in the account you've already created with Microsoft, okay? And once you've signed in, come back here and click designer. Okay. After clicking designer, you're now going to go to the text prompt area and you're going to write the prompt for the picture you want it to create. Now, here are the tips I'm going to give you in writing this prompt. You can see mine, YouTuber, black female, plus size, cozy home office, I'm like, you know, your YouTube name, put it in an inverted comma. Whatever name of your business, put it in an inverted comma. You can see my everyday life with Jane is in an inverted comma. Okay, I said, I, and I wrote exactly where I wanted to be written on her shirt and I want her shirt to be white. Okay, so these are some of the things you have to look out when you're writing your prompt. Try it as many times as possible and just have fun with it, okay? So after writing this prompt, you're going to wait for some time and then click the submit button then these are some of the pictures that it created for me i really didn't like them because it looked a little bit too two-dimensional and a little bit too cartoonish so i told the bots to make them more realistic make them like 3d make them you know a higher um definition and that was exactly what the bot did for me so this is very important whenever you're writing your prompt make sure you make them say 3d high definition and then this part of the resolution where i wrote 19 16.9 that's the resolution for look at the pictures look at the pictures look at the pictures that i created and you can see that this one here was the one i used for this uh, video to begin with. so we are going to the step two which is image expansion and we're going to be using photo ai to achieve this now for the image expansion you realize that those images are quite boxy and for youtube you need a larger video so what you do is you go to this it's also linked in my description box and then you log in and sign up and then you upload the picture that you want to work with okay so this is the picture i want to work with so it will tell you things like get started it will like to know why you are coming to their page and all that so you just fill up all these things answer all the questions okay now the reason why i'm using this expansion is because the picture is a square picture and for youtube you need a picture that is 16 by 9 in dimension okay and that's the reason why i need an expansion tool to help me expand it and make it widescreen so this is what it created it added a bed by the side it added a wall by the side this is the original picture as you can see down there and this is the expanded picture can you guys see the difference it added a bed and some other things to the picture that was not there before so this expansion tool is very very important in this process okay so i did this again for another picture that we downloaded you can see how this picture is quite four corner you click widescreen 19.9 that is the dimension for youtube and you click generate can you see it has added a door by the side of the picture it's added a wall on the left hand side of the picture so you can see the original one i can see what it created so this is what the expansion tool does all right then when you're done you click download and this picture will be saved to your phone the next thing you're going to do is face match. We are going to be changing the facing the faces of the avatar. I beg your pardon to look like us. We're going to be using Remaker AI. I have a link in the description, but everything is going to be linked in the description box. You just go click the link and do whatever you need to do. So we had a road upload image. You're going to click on that dialog box and then you're going to click the image that you want its face swapped. So in this case, you're going to be working with this one. So we're going to click it and then here upload swap image here i'm going to upload my own personal picture where is it where is it where is that my personal picture i'm going to be uploading my own personal picture that i want this um avatar picture to look like so this is my personal picture i've selected it and i've clicked upload all right 
once you're done with that you're going to scroll down and click swap this will take literally just seconds and you're going to look at it look at the swapped picture does it not look like me and then you just click download all right so i did this also for the avatar that you know we used to start up this video so look at it look at it you can see how this one looks like me this is the original look at this one that we worked with. see how this one looks like me and this is the original and this is what we used to start our video so i hope it's clear let's go to the next stage which is step four which is making the talking avatar if you watch my videos before i have lots of videos on talking avatars but today we are going to be using the id and you just go to the pay the link is in my description box you log in you sign up you know for the id and fill in their questionnaires almost all of them start with questionnaires just fill up all their questionnaires then click create video click add here you're going to add the avatar the one that already looks like you in my case the one that looks like me and click open then you're going to go over to this part of the root audio you're going to import the audio that you want the talking avatar to say i'm going to be using a video on how to make voiceovers without payment without using 11 labs voiceovers for free so watch out for that video how to make voiceovers ai voiceovers so when you're done uploading those three things you click generate and the reason why i don't advise people to use the id is because the id gives you only 20 credits and the worst part is that their videos always have watermark just look at it today i'll be teaching you how to make ai generated talking avatars that look just like you so can you see can you see how the the watermark is just all over the screen it doesn't look professional to me and it doesn't look good so this is why i do not use the id people have been asking why don't you use the id you told us how to use the id i don't use it for my talking avatars i told you guys i still always say use dop dop this is the best for making your talking avatars they give you a lot of free points you can sign up as many times as possible and you know i've made a video on how to use it up before but today i'm just going to go through it again so you're going to sign up because it's free you're going to log in with your email address and all that and then they're going to take you through how to use the interface you know upload a photo you can even tell them to write a a, a, a script for you and all that so i'm going to be uploading our picture now and i'm going to be uploading this one i made a mistake here i was supposed to upload the one that had my face <laughs> but this and everybody did that later as you guys can see in the beginning after uploading your picture you're going to add the audio whatever you want that picture to say i told you i've done a voiceover before with my voice and so i just clicked on that click upload audio and then you select the audio mine was recording too so you're going to upload that audio and then you click on this top right corner that says generate avatar you're going to save it save the audio of course and then if you do not understand this process just go and watch my previous video on how to create talking avatars this was basically what it was all about and you're going to be you're going to understand it perfectly so guys that's the video for today and i hope that you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to the channel so if you need any other videos please let me know in the comment section bye